It's Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay odyssey. Still more to do. Blah, 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 you know the deal. So, this is... This is like... What I've wanted since I played Super Mario 3D World. It's so funny. Because when I was playing 3D World, I was saying that I like playing the Captain Toad stages more than the main game, believe it or not. <laughs> so I was like, man, that would be awesome if they made that into a full-on game. I never sent that suggestion into Nintendo or anything like that. But it's like they read my mind. <laughs> anyway. So, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is like a puzzle action game where you do not jump whatsoever. So you can collect some golden mushrooms, collect some diamonds, but primarily, I'm just gonna show you how the game is like in the random gameplay. I'm Captain Toad, I've always wanted to be Captain Toad, man! Yes! You can turn off your light by pressing the Y button. If you were to say hit the jump button, <laughs> no jumping allowed! <laughs> you can zoom in with X, swap around the camera with the um, D-pad, or, well, right analog stick will work as well, and that's really pretty much it. Analog stick to move, yada yada, that's just the basic, basic stuff. I like, I like that it makes it look like you have to get it from this side, and then you flip it around, and you're like, oh yeah, you just do circles here all day long. <laughs> Anyway, let's pluck some plants. Oil. Well, not really plants. Oh, geez, not the plant. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Now th this is kind of interesting here. Like, if you fall down, you can't jump. How do you get back up? Well, a ladder comes up with it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go hit this power block over here with a vegetable. Yeah, get another diamond. Got get three diamonds per level. And ooh, a dangerous shy guy. How could one deal with such an insurmountable obstacle when you don't have attacks? Well, you kind of do have attacks. You have the... well... <laughs> it took me a while to block that, that's... <laughs> yeah, a little Donkey Kong reference going on there. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I didn't mean to just rip, just throw it that quickly, but details, I guess. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to use the hammer to break the... Yeah, whoops, doodle. Well, <laughs> that's okay, I suppose. We're not going for super 100% or anything like that, after all. Oh, and you can also change the, uh, the camera uh, by just tilting around like that. That's why I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm not actually touching sometimes. It just, just happens. <laughs> Diamond! Yay! Oh, everyone's sleeping though. We can't celebrate together. Alas, alas. And alas, alas. I guess I'm not getting those coins either. But anyway. <laughs> Yay! Woo! So that's Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, in a nutshell. Let's go to level two. Alright, so. Don't destroy the temple's bridge if you want to get 100% completion. So you gotta puzzle your way around that. By the way, if you just step on the bridge, you destroy the temple bridge! <laughs> so then what you would have to do is exit, and then pop back in there, and then you could just go, wee. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so for realsies here, we're gonna leave that behind. Ow! Okay, that actually didn't hurt at all. <laughs> ha! Take that. That's actually useless. Because you need to be out of my way for me to get through. Ha ha ha! Anyway. <laughs> just. Oh! No! Well, I guess that's fine. I was just to say I was just gonna go across the bridge, but no. Uh, no. Game is like no way. And by the way, Captain Toad doesn't seem to require air. I'm not sure how that works, but. Well, he is a masterful explorer, so maybe he's got some equipment that we are not seeing. Anyway, you probably want that diamond. I know I want that diamond, although I've collected it before. Oh, I couldn't get back before the diamond 
I mean, before the platform flipped around. It's too bad. That is too bad. I'd say, there we go, yeah! And if you gotta flip around, go inside the temple itself. Yep, it's a game of controlling all sorts of cameras, too. Uh, actually, you know what? I should go, actually, over to here. Yeah! Give me that prize as a diamond! I just remember that. <laughs> now I can go out through here. And also, make sure to wait for this. Yeah! Oh, oh see what I mean? Yep, yep. Uh huh. Yeah! Oh! I'm locked out. I'm locked out. And I can't jump. So I can't get up there with these. No. Oh, that's ah oh, poopers. That's right. <laughs> I forgot it just drops these straight down. I, Cause yeah, yeah. I should have. I should have noticed. Oh, okay. And now I should be able. To, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and, oh. and now we wait. This is a very mechanical temple, I have to say. All right, we've made it to the tippy top. We can throw stuff at the critters to slow them down. We can get that diamond without touching the bridge to break it apart. And that's 100% completed. Unlike the last one where I didn't break that block with the hammer to get the golden mushroom. But that's okay. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? Why? Coins galore. Let's find out what that is. This is, I, I don't know if there's any trigger to making these things appear. They just seem to come up randomly. So you got you got <laughs> you got some choices as to what you want to do here. Would you like to hammer it up or cherry it up? Well, you seen me use the hammer before. So what do you say we try the cherry? Multiply those toes with the cherry. Yes. And throw turnips and everything for maximum coin profits! <laughs> Woo! And I obviously did not break my record. I think I got it with the hammer, actually. Yeah, it just it kind of replaces the first level. Or well not first level, I should say whatever level it flip-flops over before you're able to play it again. Whoops, went too far. Touchstone trouble. Let's go. Oh, and yeah, you might be able to see there's also target times to uh, take care of as well. Now, what, what is what touch? What is this touching dealio? Oh yes, that is how things roll. <laughs> and also, both work in similar fashions. See that? See that? Oh, oh. So it's very, very easy to beat this level very quickly. But the question is, of course. How fat? I mean, how 100%y are you willing to go? That is the question. Oh, no, I, I was hitting the Y button, like force a habit, because that's not usual. Oh no, I mean, I didn't mean to do that. I was just mashing the button. That's okay. The key respawns. By the way, this key looks a lot like the Super Mario World key too. Anyway, we open up and get that diamond so yeah in order to 100 percent stuff you're probably gonna have to replay level multiple times by the way you'll notice that the coins shimmer under the light of captain toad but if you have the light off like oh well, at least i thought well okay maybe it just makes them shimmer better i don't know <laughs> anyway i should probably start touching on the screen there a little bit more get that blue back down there flop that pink over there and there's also, you, you might have noticed, a little hole over on the side of the blue here. So if I were to go inside here and then touch the blue, you can go inside, yep. Puzzle action goodness. And unfortunately though, that is where our journey ends in terms of this side path. So you can basically see what I'm touching just based by, you know, me actually Boink, boink, you know, which, whichever moves I'm touching, basically. So, ah, oh, the poop. Do we get up to that? Oh, look at that. It's like magic. <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, I, th I thought I was missing something there. Because I, I think I actually need to touch the yellow as well. Or something to get in where the blue... Or Oh, oh I see. I see. Okay. So pop that blue down there, shift over to the pink, and then you can go inside. 
Oh, alright, no, no, I'm, I'm, I was touching blindly. <laughs> alright, level completed! So yeah, as you see, you can complete that in mere seconds. If you just go straight for the star. Yeah, my fastest time, three seconds. <laughs> so, can I repeat that? Maybe. Let's just see for the fun of it. I think what I did was I touched the pink, I went over to the blue, and I touched the blue back over, and there. Oh, that was. Oh, that was slow. <laughs> that was not. That was not the target time. The beaten. Yeah, the challenge time is five seconds. Let's see, what, see if I can be a little more efficient there. And go 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 go! Meow 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 meow! Oh oh shoot! How did I get three on that before? <laughs> hmm, I forgot. Well, anyway, I should probably just go over to the next level anyway. This is not a 100%ing anyway. As I said, it's random gameplay. Show you the tactics of Captain Toad as well as the game itself. Mushu Mesa is a go! Beware of these flying critters. They like to dive bomb you. <laughs> I would like to go. Oh no, the diamond! It's out of my reach! Well, not really, actually. You can actually just go around this way and get the diamond that way. Yeah. And just like the other level, uh huh, you could touch. But, be mindful as to how you would like to touch, because you might be missing something on a lower area. As a matter of fact, aha, see, you just cannot rush things too quickly. <laughs> so yeah, just, oh, especially if you, I'm saying like if you want to be efficient or something like that, but anyway, um, let's see here. I guess I could wipe out the Shy Guys if I really wanted to. <laughs> hello. <Woo. laughs> and also, hello! Oh man! Oh man! Also, we've got more puzzling to do here. I believe, yeah, I gotta take that down a notch, take that back up, and also take this up this way, so you don't stay inside it. Oh no, 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 no. That would be too simple. That is not puzzling enough. Woohoo! I got a one up! Which I don't really need it whatsoever. <laughs> and of course, you can touch this one to bring up. Oh. I was gonna say, touch this one to bring it up, but actually, I think there's actually something. Uh, if I go. Whoops. I thought there was something in the middle of these things. I thought. I could be wrong about that, though. I could be thinking of another level, <laughs> which is a-okay, I suppose. Anyway, let's get that star. Get out of here, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Yeah, they like to hide stuff in those little crevices where moving platforms and stuff is like that, so... Um, yeah, let's just collect 70 coins if you'd like to 100% on top of the diamonds, on top of the target times. But anyway, let's go through the cherry palace. Remember the cherries? Remember? Put a toad on there. Get, yeah, get it sort of stuck on the wall so you separate, and then you can have a good old time with a toad. And as a matter of fact, look at what we can do with two toads at once. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, a little something from the land of games and that, yeah, you can multiply yourself and then put yourself on switches and stuff like that. So as you see, there's a switch over there, but there's also a switch on the other side, so we've got to do some toad coordination here after we clear the way. So I'm just going to try and leave that one toad behind back there. And no, 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 don't you, don't you, no, 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 no. Don't you dare leave me! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, so the trick to this is that you actually gotta corner it <laughs> with both toads at once. That's uh huh. So all we're gonna do here is take it around like so. Aha! See, because it had trouble going in that same line that it did before. All right, so now I'll plop a toad there, 
and I'll just kind of push myself up against this wall. It's okay if I... Huh? I was gonna say... Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Yes! Yes! But now, we're separated! Oh, no! So we've gotta puzzle our way through this again in a different way, because now there's, yeah, the middle things... They be popping up where you don't want them to be popping up. Well, actually, you kind of do, because it's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, now I got both toads down over here. There we go. Yes. And now we're going to do some alternate moves to be all fancy-like. Yup. <laughs> that is true Captain Toad teamwork. And yes, you are indeed controlling both toads with the same input. So it kind of reminds me of those task videos where a task beats three games at once that are of similar... <laughs> of similar control schemes, like the Mario Brothers games or uh, Mega Man games or something like that. Anyway, get that toad across down there. And then I'll be able to flip-flop this toad. Boop, <laughs> Like so, get them all synced up, and there we go. Everyone together now? Yeah! <laughs> we can flip that around. And it requires two toads, of course, as per the number on the box, or the platform, or whatever you want to call it. And completed! Woohoo! Good times! <laughs> And I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end off the video here. We're getting around that 15 minute mark, actually a little bit past 15 minute mark. So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.